Number one, an earthquake occurs when two blocks of the earth slip past each other. Now, for most of the time, those blocks are together with friction, but they are building up energy because they are moving in different directions. When one block decides to slip, all of a sudden that energy is released by seismic waves, kind of like ripples on a pond, creating the earthquake. Number two, an earthquake can occur very near the surface of the earth. Those earthquakes are typically very destructive, or as deep as 400 miles down into the crust. Now, where the shaking actually happens, that's called the hypocenter. But directly above it on the surface, that's called the epicenter. Number three, the power of an earthquake is called magnitude. Now, the intensity of the shaking can vary depending on the geography, the topography, or even the depth of the quake. Now, the USGS says there are 500,000 detectable quakes every year. 100,000 can be felt, and 100 will create damage. Number four, earthquakes themselves actually don't kill that many people. It's the natural and man-made structures that fall to the ground during the shaking that injure and kill. Number five, the majority of all earthquakes and volcanoes happen along plate boundaries. The largest is the Pacific Plate and its series of boundaries all along the Pacific Ocean, known as the Ring of Fire. Very, very strong earthquake, uh, one of the stronger, uh, strongest I felt. And let me tell you, I was here in 1985 when that uh, earthquake uh, collapsed Mexico City. So uh, well, we're you know, looking out for each other, all the neighbors, like what should we do, where should we stand? Because also let me tell you that I live uh, in an area in Mexico City that is considered one of the most dangerous ones. Um, also with downtown Mexico City. Uh, this so, is an, uh, an area next to the Angel of Independence for those who have been here. So it's, you know, we are all in, in extreme alert. So, um, Paulina, let me just be clear, when it struck, you were driving and then you pulled over and stood out in the streets. Um, where are you now? Have you been back to your apartment, which I understand is in a very old building? Have you been back to get a sense of whether there's any damage? Yeah, I already, of course, I already checked the, the building and checked my apartment and everything is fine here. I live in an old building. It's like 45 years old. Um, but I know that uh, security pro protocols were implemented by authorities already, so you can hear the helicopters and the ambulances and the uh, police uh, cars driving around this area. 